Item two on our agenda is the recognition of Terry Riddick and the best kept secret, Stop the Violence Organization. Yes, uh, next I'd like to tell um, a, a great story about a man and organization that's done a great deal to curb youth violence um, in Hampton. Uh, Terry Riddick, along with his brothers uh, and sisters, Randy Wilson, Wanda, and Teresa, were raised by a single mother, uh, Wendy Riddick Spellman, who taught them how important it was to look presentable and be well-groomed uh, when they uh, were out and about. Um, in 2005, Terry, Wilson, and Randy were aspiring rap artists, and along uh, with their cousin, uh, the unthinkable thing happened, and their cousin was gunned down um, in 2005. Their future um, was suddenly uh, changed and made very clear uh, what they should do next, and that was to um, develop a simple message of put down the guns and stop killing each other. And they needed a way to work with uh, the underserved high crime neighborhoods in um, Hampton Roads. Um, so what Terry said was that we had to give something um, to these kids in order for them to hear our message. Growing up, they couldn't afford haircuts, so they learned to cut hair um, themselves. And um, that's what they found they could bring to the table for these, um, these young children and kids. Um, Terry said it best when he said, with a barber, it's one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of kids don't want to talk in a group, and some kids don't have a father figure, uh, so we try to be there. Adding, as we come back it again and again, they get to know us. And I gotta say, I, I met Terry and his brothers um, uh, this, or this afternoon right before the meeting and, and got to know him just a, a very little bit. And you can see, just in talking to him, their heart and uh, their care for um, these kids that they, they come back and, and, and talk to and, and get to know. And um, it's uh, a thing to behold and, and respect. Um, in Hampton, best kept secret, um, has regularly visited um, lots of places throughout the city, um, including Lincoln Park, Harbor Square, near City Line, and other places. Um, and they've also taken 15 guns off the street uh, by meeting with these kids. Um, best, the best kept secret is making a, a big difference um, in, hair, in Hampton, one haircut at a time. And so we honor them and, and thank you. If you guys could come up and council will talk. Appreciate it. We want to thank everybody for um, recognizing us, um, especially the wonderful <laughs> city council. <laughs> um, th the first, I should say, um, and I <clears throat> and I personally, um, just to say, um, I personally spoke with uh, uh, Molly Ward about a couple years ago, and I and I, and I said to her, I say, well. You are one of the only mayors throughout the 757 um, that has uh, been there to uh, recognize on what's really going on. Now, I want you to all to, to, to recognize this. Um, when, you, when you start taking city council members and mayors uh, throughout the city out of their comfort zone, what I mean by that is that when you can get them to come out to a nightclub to address violence and gangs, that's huge. Most mayors and city councils would not come to a nightclub to address violence and gangs. So that right there taught me a lot um, with, with, with our, our city council members of Hampton. Um, a lot of other cities that we travel to there are, are, are not as, what's the word for it? <laughs> They're not as supportive as the city of Hampton is. So I, I would really want to, the city of Hampton to let them know that we really, really appreciate this, the recognition from the city of Hampton. Um, as we go out, uh, we, we should be out on the grounds right now because that's what we do, but, <laughs> but we just want to thank Hampton for, for recognizing us and our youth, we will fight 
I mean, we will fight to the very end um, until we get results. And that's what's gonna make the change, us getting results. Thank you. Terry, we say to you and your brothers that there's an African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. Most of us talk the talk, but we don't walk the walk. You and your brothers and your sister are the epitome of walking the walk and making a difference in, in the lives of our young men and in our community. And we are blessed to have you in our midst, and thank you very much for all that you collectively do. And, uh, oh, they got my mic right. I apologize. Uh, thank you so much. And again, I will say to, as I always say to you, thank you. And what did I say? Stay on mission. Thank you. Mr. Vice Mayor, I think we've got another group of servant leaders here this night to uh, show Hampton's undying affection, love, and service that we give each other in our community. <laughs> 